Ultimate Tech T. So, have you been? So, as you guys see, I'm doing another One Piece Treasure Cruise video, and in this video, I'm going to be doing a uh, Zephyr 40 Stamina Raid Boss. So, I'll show you my team right here. I got that right here. So, this is my team. Um, it consists of Garp as a captain for the team to be free to play. I'll be using Garp, Grand Asoro, uh Kobe. Here, please, and impact that loose up. So all these characters are free to play. I'll show you. <clears throat> I'll tell you where to get them. So Garp and Grand Sora are both raid bosses. Grand Sora, most of you already have since his Fortnite was just a few days ago. And Garp, most of you longtime players already have as well. Um, Kobe, his Fortnite's coming in a few weeks, if uh, like a week or so. But he's uh, from a Fortnite. Heracles is a raid boss and Impact Isle Usopp is from the story mode, you guys could farm him from like Water 7, somewhere from there, check online before, because I don't know the exact chapter or island, but somewhere in Water 7 I believe you could farm him, and yep, so this team is fully free to play, why am I using this team, <clears throat> just to show you guys a free to play character, uh, free to play team, the team that I use actually isn't this, I use my stronghold uh, Shanks captain right here, but um, <clears throat> Since I wanted to make it free to play and accessible to all of you guys, I decided to make it free to play. If you guys have strong little chinks, obviously you guys can change it if you want. Uh, if you guys have better subs, change it if you guys have better sockets. I mean, this is a very, very basic um, <clears throat> team that I'll be using. And yep, so um, let's jump right in. I'll be using my shanks to find a better captain. Um, but most of you guys could probably find a good strong little chinks captain just because I don't have any more after farming so much effort copies. Um, <clears throat> and yep, so let's jump for you. Um, I'm trying to find one with some good bind uh, resistance. Uh, is four enough? Let's check. I think it should be. Yeah, it's enough. So um, we need level one bind. That's something that's really important. Make sure you have level one bind. Super important for this for uh, first raid boss. Um, all the other sockets are nice to have, but not important or required. And yep. So I already explained my team, um, <clears throat> specials that are really important, Kobe and Impact Isle Usopp, and Grand Sora is not that bad, I'll show you his special in a sec, uh, right here. Uh, so he does some Psy damage and he changes all your orbs to Psy if your HP is above 50% which is amazing. Our HP will be above 50% so it's a done deal right there. Impact Isle Usopp, um, he boosts your Psy attack by one turn. Doubles your side attack for one turn. Sorry, I read that wrong. Uh, Kobe, he enhances your crew slot for two turns, uh, so his enhancement will be a 1.5 times enhancement. And yep, uh, Heracles in special isn't useful, I'm just taking him for attack and HP purposes. And Garp, obviously, is a captain. His special is okay, he changes all your orbs to either recovery or Psy, which is decent, but Grand Store is much better for changing your uh, orbs. And yep. <clears throat> Since this is a free play guide, I will be stalling as much as possible just to maximize our specials and whatnot. And if you guys don't have nice cooldowns, uh, <clears throat> obviously I'll show you where to stall. In the first room, if there's a, an enemy with a 3 turn cooldown, you obviously stall for 3 turns. 2 turn cooldown, you stall for 2 turns. You guys could take hits if you guys want, but I'm not gonna because I don't like taking hits, um, obviously. Here, we're just gonna use Garp he has a four hit combo or use any other sub that has a four hit combo really important uh who else i no, i'm not gonna take a risk i think kobe does as well but uh, even then i don't want to take a risk or anything um <clears throat> me even with my strong will shanks team i stall for my kobe and impact i because they're really important and i usually stall for tesoro as well just because um even though strong will shanks boost your uh, psi or great it's nice to have all matching orbs. And yep. <clears throat> what should we do? I don't know. Um, what should I talk about? <laughs> I don't want to bore you guys talking about any nonsense or anything. I want you guys to pay attention. And yep. So I'll just stall here. <laughs> that was a mistake by me. Um, I was wondering what the heck did I do? I used the shanks by mistake. I was supposed to take a hit there. Uh, to stall for one more turn, but whatever, it doesn't really matter if you make a mistake. Um, for Ayn, we're gonna stall for one turn, we're not gonna kill her. Um, 
Yeah, yeah. I forgot to mention that. We're gonna we're gonna stall. So if you guys did kill her, that's my fault for not mentioning it. But um, make sure not to kill her, just because it's an easy way to stall, and you won't take a hit. So um, might as well use the turn uh, for your advantage. Here we're gonna make sure to kill the adult seahorses. I've done the mistake before of not killing them, and then they bind one of your units for like 13 turns, which sucks. So make sure you kill them, it doesn't matter how you kill them, just kill them in the first turn. And um, <clears throat> kill most of the subs actually, just because we don't need to stall too much. Um, here. Okay, we'll just look for some better orbs. Although we will be using Tesoro, it's nice to have some better orbs. Um, should I use Tesoro? I think it's a waste right now, I think it's a waste. So we're just gonna use uh, Kobe and impact that loose up. If you guys don't have good uh, orbs in your first turn, definitely use the Soro. But I'm only missing one orb and uh, it's on like Heracles, which doesn't do too much damage. So might as well save the Soro's uh, special. And yep, so I'm gonna concentrate. Oh my god, that sucks. We just missed it. We were, we were probably able to do 2 million damage in the first turn, which is real nice. Uh, <clears throat> Zephyr has about 3 million damage, so I think now is a better time to use the Soros um, special. Yep, right now. And now we're gonna attack again, hopefully, do a good amount of damage. Okay, so we're gonna keep him right over to uh, 20% just because under 20% he has 36,000 damage but uh, over 20% he does I believe how much is it like 13, 14,000 which isn't that bad. Um, what should I do? Yep, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> just to say on the safe side, yeah he does 16 my mistake. Uh, I thought he does a bit less but anyways um, he binds one person randomly and puts immunity up again um, for four turns one thing you could do to avoid like if you want to get him under 20 percent but avoid getting hit is bring mirage tempo nami she completely negates in uh, character's damage but anyways we're going to use our strong will change to friends um <clears throat> special and use our thousand sunny just to do a bit more damage and now Try to burst him as low as we can, hopefully killing him. Okay, hopefully we don't hit any misses. Um, nah, both of these guys suck right now. Our orbs are pretty good. <clears throat> really close to killing him right there. And that would complete our free to play guide on beating Zephyr. So <clears throat> one thing I want to mention is I did this video like a, a few minutes ago and I lost. Um, so I want to clarify this isn't a 100% guarantee. If you do hit a miss here and there you guys will fail to beat him. If you guys mess up installing you will fail to beat him. But overall if your subs are decent, if your captain is good, you will defeat him. You could possibly use a different captain. Garp isn't the only captain. If you guys have uh, Shanks. Okay, I'll show you what Shanks I'm talking about. And then, sorry about that. My camera stopped recording. But yeah, so uh, I'll show you what what Shanks I'm talking about right here. <clears throat> um, it's it's not a free to play unit, but he's a really good captain. If you guys don't have Stormwell Shanks, uh, right here, this Shanks he boosts your side character's attack by 2.5 times, which is really good. Um, another really good captain to use, I mean if you guys don't have struggle chance you guys could use him. Also a gear 3 team will work, I'm, I've never used a gear 3 but I've seen other people use it so search online if you guys want to use a gear 3 team. Uh, other decent captains, I don't know much, um, <clears throat> I don't use side characters too often, I mean if I do I take struggle chance. And yep, so now Zephyr, what does he do, I'll show you in a second, right here. So, <clears throat> this is Zephyr right here, uh, quick story, my skill up luck on Zephyr is crap. Um, I formed like 45 copies on him and this is the result, um, 45 plus copies, I formed 45 
the last time he was here like a, a week ago and like 10 to two weeks ago so like 50 copies 50 plus copies and only six skillets i was so infuriated um <clears throat> i didn't max sockets but his sockets aren't that good in my opinion i think i could get better sockets but anyways he boosts shooter character's attack by 1.75 times for two turns amazing sub and a strong will ace team amazing sub and his captain build is really good too boost shooter character's attack by 2.5 times he's an amazing captain for dominoes fortnite if you guys don't know what fortnite i'm talking about that's dominoes fortnite um i believe that her name is domino but uh yeah she her restrictions are only shooter characters and um, it's actually a really hard fortnite before zephyr came out so zephyr is an amazing captain and yep so that was my guide i'll show you my team again and end off the video there so you guys know the drill as always please like subscribe and share obviously share this video with anyone you guys want <clears throat> anyone you guys want um, i know global won't be receiving zephyr ever again or possibly ever again but he's still appearing in Japan here once in a while so share this video for anyone that plays Japan and yep so uh, thanks for watching see you next time at Ultimate Tech T